Hey everyone, it's Tawny. <clears throat> I'm not sure why my voice came out all weird. I've been talking to myself all night. Um, I am making this video because I kind of want to show you like sort of what I've been up to this past week. Um, the Saturday, the full week before Christmas. So like the 16th or 17th, I had a party here at my apartment with some family and my boyfriend and a friend and there were five of us. Our parties are not really these like gigantic big like TikTok influencer type parties. They're just like, let's come eat some food, watch TV, play some card games. That's basically all our parties are. And that's pretty much what we did the whole night. So I'll show some clips of me making some hot cocoa bombs, some different appetizers. Um, I don't show family, I don't show friends. I kind of just keep it to me, which tends to make my vlogs a little bit boring, but I have to respect my family and I'm not comfortable sharing that. And I have... Oh, that's just not happening. Um, that weekend, I believe it was like later that weekend in the afternoon, The uh, maybe it was the day of my Christmas party, that's right. I went to my Nan's, which is my mom's mom, and she loves to bake cookies this time of year. Like it's her favorite thing to do. Like she's so good at it, the cookies are so good. But we have a big family, so they're always requesting different cookies. They want a lot of cookies. Like she needs like to make a lot of batches and such. So it tends to be like a long process for her and she's getting a little older so it's harder for her to like stand up for too long and to like put all this time and energy into something that like is just wearing her down. Like she loves doing it but it's just like too much for her. So I went over and I have made two batches of cookies this year, like two different types of cookies. So the first batch was just sugar cookies which is like my Nan's signature cookie like one of, she has like a couple. And then this past weekend, my favorite cookie is called a thumbprint, which is different than what normal people think of as thumbprints. But these are cookies where you make the batter, then you roll it in egg yolk or egg white, not the egg yolk, you roll it in egg white, then you roll it in crushed up walnut. And then whenever it's done baking, you put jelly in the center. So this is part of, I was eating it and I was like, oh my gosh, I should tell you guys. But this is basically what the cookie looks like except without the teeth marks it's a full round cookie and you have like the jelly in the middle our favorite is black raspberry so that's typically what we try and use whenever we make it it's very hard to find because apparently they don't really make it much anymore but every once in a while we can find it and we'll shell out the money for it because it's worth it but it's just it's like our favorite thing to do we don't make cookies other than like this time of year every once in a while she'll make some cookies she kept frozen like she'll freeze the batter and then cook them later but it's just kind of like a nice time for us to bond me to help her out and just like do something different because I don't really bake like this at my place like I like baking but I just don't really have like the time and energy and space and whatever to like fully do what we do at her place and also shown are some clips of me cleaning for the party Because sometimes people find those interesting. I don't know. It's usually, it's just B-roll that I'm going to throw in. There was some fun music in the background. But um, we, today is the 23rd of, of December. I was going to say of Christmas. But that's not right. But it is so cold outside right now. Everybody, it's cold and then it's windy. So it's making it even colder. Everybody keeps posting on Facebook that it's the cold that Spongebob had to deliver. Or it's the wind that Spongebob had to deliver the pizza in. I don't know. You might find it funny. I don't know. But I went to my mom's house earlier today about like 1.30, 2 o'clock ish. And it was 10 degrees in my car when I pulled up. Then whenever I got into my car 
about 334-ish, give or take, it was three degrees. So it is really cold. My ALEXA that's sitting right beside me says it's one degree outside and I keep getting the high wind warning alert thing keep popping up and it keeps reminding me and every time I ask her about the weather for like later on the next week or whatever she's like don't forget about the wind and I'm like I know it is windy you don't need to tell me and like we just got a big snowstorm Thursday night Thursday so it was like I woke up Thursday because I wasn't sure if I'd have to work from home or not Woke up Thursday and sure enough, I was working from home. It was like any kind of snow is going to make me work from home. And it kept snowing and snowing and snowing and snowing. And then it stopped and it was like, okay, good. Well, then it rained. And because it's been so cold with the wind chill, making it even colder, it froze. So anything that didn't get shoveled when it was snow then became giant chunks of ice. So all around my mom's house is giant chunks of ice. Part of my driveway is, but if you've re if you've watched any of my vlogs in the last like month, I share a driveway with the neighbors next door to me. We rent from the same landlord. They don't shovel their side much more than to get to their car and like they shovel off their car. If they do, I'm not really sure. I usually just shovel my half and I don't touch their half. But because our driveway is sloped at the bottom, like where you pull into it at, like when you first pull off the road onto the driveway, it's sloped there and it slopes toward my side. So there is a stream of water that has become a stream of ice, right? Like my car is parked in a good spot just past the front of my car, because I back in, just past the front of my car is a giant sheet of ice. So I had some ice like salt, stuff like you sprinkle and it removes the ice whatever so I removed a bunch of that of I put it all down so I'm hoping it helps to like kind of dissolve it because my mom my sister and, a fr and our friend are coming over Saturday night Christmas Eve because it's a tradition with my mom that we always watch it's a wonderful life it's been a thing since I've been like really really little like we always used to make fun of mom because we didn't like the movie now I can appreciate it for what it is it's not great but I can appreciate it for what it is um and I invited everybody over, you know, we're going to have some food and some appetizers. We're going to make some shrimp and then we're going to watch the movie, maybe play some cards and then everybody's going to disperse and then I'll see them bright and early on Christmas. So I'm super excited for that. I'm super excited for Christmas. Um, it's a nice time of year. We've had some family having a little bit of spits and spats and like just it's the time of year that everybody doesn't get along with each other and it's just, you know, whatever. But um I like this time of year. I hate that it's so cold and snowy and gross. Like I hate snow and I hate cold. Anything in between is just right there with it. And my birthday is next week, but it's supposed to be like 50 degrees. So I told my mom, I was like, I know that it is horrible for the environment, but if it could be like 60 or 70 degrees on my birthday, just on my birthday, the day of my birthday, and then everywhere around it can be cold again, I will be totally okay with that because I am a summer child and the fact that I have to deal with freezing cold weather around my birthday like pains me. Like growing up, my birthday party was always at our best Western hotel in our town and we would go swimming in the swimming pool. And then as I got older, we then started staying the night at the hotel so we could keep swimming and we could hang out and you know, do girl stuff and whatever. And I always felt kind of gypped that I had to go to a hotel swimming pool instead of going to like the local pool or having it at somebody's house or once we got a pool at our house and having it at our house and it was like I kind of get the short end of the stick because I'm born after Christmas and I never minded it growing up I always got separate presents nobody ever bunched them together and said here's Christmas and birthday it was always Christmas and birthday like still hold my cookie but I I don't know. I'm really excited. I turned 27 this year and I'm having like, I feel like Joey when everybody turned 30. I'm just like having a meltdown. Like I called myself 26 the other day, 28 the other day. And I was like, how even old am I? Like, it was like, I couldn't do the math. And it, the funny thing is that like, I'm only like, I can do the math for three days of the year because from the 29th, the 30th and the 31st, the math for my birthday to this year, like the years, if you subtract them or whatever, it matches. But then come January 1st, it'll be off because it'll be like, well, you're supposed to be this age. It's like, no, my birthday's not for like a hundred, like 362 days or whatever. So I don't know. I'm excited. I don't really know what we're going to do for my birthday yet. I'm kind of thinking of just like, we have a local Japanese steakhouse with a hibachi bar 
And usually when my boyfriend and I would go, we sit at like just a dining table. They just bring your food out. They don't do like any kind of hibachi show, but they do have the option to sit at the grill where you can watch them cook for you. And I love doing that. So I told my boyfriend, I think whenever we go for my birthday dinner, it should be there. We should sit at the grill and I want them to do the whole birthday thing. They have a little disco ball that hangs down. They sing happy birthday on like, they have like a, like a song that plays and then they bring out like a little cake dessert thing. And I just want the big hoopla. I growing up always got the hoopla because we were always with family on my birthday. So they would always make a big deal at whatever restaurant we were at. So now I want to keep it going because like when you get older, you kind of need the hoopla. I mean, unless you just kind of like can't embrace the fact that you're old. But I feel like it like makes it better that you're getting older because people are at least appreciating you for getting older. So, I don't know. I'm excited. And I thought about going axe throwing for my birthday, but I'm not sure if that's what I want to do or not. We're kind of limited on what we can do because, for one, our area is not, like, great with a whole lot of options. And then, for two, my birthday's in December. So, and it's also the week between Christmas and New Year's, which means that we can't, um... Like some places might be closed, some places not ha might not have as many options because it's that week and either they're short staffed or they're just like waiting till after the new year to begin things again. I don't know, but I'm excited. I only have to work two days next week, so I'm super pumped and we're not going to have any like kids or like participants there. So it's basically just paperwork and I just get to set my office. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys have a good Christmas. This will be the last video I upload before Christmas. Stay tuned for possibly a birthday or New Year's get ready with me type look. I plan on doing some makeup for something like that. But lately I've been in a weird mood where like I'm not interested in putting on makeup. And I used to be the type of person who would wear makeup all day. Like every morning I would get ready to put on makeup. And I just kind of feel like I've gotten out of that. And I hate that because I, I miss that version of me who always wanted to wear makeup. Because even though I was never like great at doing it, I always felt good with the makeup I wore. So I want to feel that feeling again. And I'm really working on getting myself like looking better, feeling better, being better in general. I think next year my whole goal, like one of my New Year's resolutions is going to be like focusing on being a better person and improving like my overall perspective on life and things. Because I can be a very negative person. I'm all the time focusing on like what went wrong, not what went well. I'm all the time like griping at people when I'm in the car. Like I have severe road rage. So I want to focus on like not being so negative. So I think that's going to be my New Year's resolution. So yeah, I'm excited for all of that and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you like this one where you get to see all of the b-roll footage of what I've been doing lately. Stay safe this holiday season. Take care of each other. Love one another. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell down below so you get notified when I upload our next video, my next video, next video you're going to see, and I will see you guys then. Bye!